Good morning, everybody. This is PricesKing.com at about nine o'clock in the morning. This is Sut. We're looking at March the 13th of 2020 today. And if you saw my video a couple of days ago, uh, earlier this week and l last week, uh, I was going over what was going to happen and what I predicted. Um, was to come in the next few days at that time and so i want to just go over what's going on today and where we are from that video uh, as you can see on the screen right here clearly i had made some of these marks uh, as to where we were headed we had three bubbles that uh, i was targeting and we hit those targets and so i mentioned that look if this is the number that we're going to hit it'll go here try to bounce up try to get back to this 23.6 didn't make quite make it all the way up but it did try and then boom it fell back down we hit the first bubble then the next leg was down to the 50 percent on our fibs on um, this is the nq okay the the nasdaq e mini nq uh, this is the micro so um, I, I kind of wanted to show what's going on on the micro uh, pretty much this falls in line with all the other futures as well uh, and so here it is you know we're at the 50% we hit this mark and it, it was going to be either and I mentioned this it was either, either going to be a support in the beginning go take a leg up and then go back to this level and now we broke this level as well in the past few days all right uh, and this is one of the key levels uh, now we have to watch this and see if this becomes a resistance Okay, and if this becomes resistance, we're already under the 100 day moving average, 180 days moving average. And this becomes resistance, then we're pretty much in bear market territory, right? And you're just going to see a lot of downward pressure. You're going to see, you know, sideways action a couple of days. Uh, but the idea is now because we're in this high volatility market, we're going to have some whipsaws. We're going to have violent move downwards and then violent move upwards. And so that's that's the nature of the game. Until things calm down, you'll see a lot of these violent moves. Okay. So now, because it brought the 61.8, I knew it was going to go down to this and then it was ultimately going to go. And look at that. We hit the 100% retract, ret retracement on this from the, the lows back in June all right as soon as I hit that it will bounce right back up and now we have to see whether this 88.6 is gonna see as a support whether or not 78.6 is gonna act as support and whether or not 61.8 is gonna act as a resistant okay so just keep things in perspective as to what you see if you're trading the micro e minis uh, let's take a look at see what's going on with the ES all right so let me just remove all these extra things all right similarly look at this I mean we passed the hundred percent mark and went way and now look at this it was trying and actually trying to go hit the 161 you see this all right now same thing we got the 180 days it's way below that this was the high ultimately the game was the same we're looking at the 50 percent it hit that 61.8 it, it wasn't acting like a resistance because it you know violently spewed up and then violently came down and it broke through the support and it just after that we just went 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 way down right and so now you know whether the next few days if this is just a fake rally i mean you know who knows right i mean it depends on it's a news driven cycle right even if we go ahead and take a look at our bollingers look this is on the daily charts right we've been riding this lower band for some days now okay and until and until and until when we actually break out of this lower band we're going to continue to grind down, downwards okay there's got to be a print on a daily bar 
that is above the lower band and then that's when we'll see a leg move up to a higher position maybe 61.8 and we'll have to see what's going on in this particular situation and whether or not we've got a lot of these resistant bands that we have to get through before we go way back up and again so just be careful there are going to be a lot of violent moves up and down you could get completely wiped out so just be careful and lastly let's look at the UI YM all right we're similarly touching the lower band in all of these cases we're below the 180 days and violently we I actually didn't um, draw anything on the YM because I don't trade the YM as often as I would like to but um, it doesn't just behave the way that the Nasdaq does and so I don't generally like look at this below the 180 day it was going off smooth and then splat right last the week before boom last week and then this week all right um, that's pretty much it I mean just be careful I mean, we got this 5% up yesterday we had almost 10% down so 5% us maybe just people covering their shorts this is maybe just people covering shorts so just be careful don't get you know all you know caught up in the fact that this may be a, a full grown rally it may not be it just may be short-lived okay so be very very careful um, don't just assume that this rally is the way back up because you could see these rallies spike and then spike down spike down spike up and then there could be another leg up and boom spike right back down all right if you have any questions please reach out to me if you want a specific one-on-one -on -one. ping me maybe i'll uh, set up a call with you if you need to understand any of these things that i mentioned here uh, further i will go ahead and answer any questions you have all right trading well guys